Connor, tell me about um, being Lifestyle Sports Style Ambassador. Were you surprised when they invited you? Yes, news to me and I'm sure the other three lads to, to be uh, called uh, stylish people. But um, no, it's great to be on board, you know, and um, with such a strong Irish company as well. It's great to see them doing so well, you know, and I think we're all, all delighted to be involved. What are your personal ambitions off the pitch? Uh, personal ambitions off the pitch, uh, for one, get my college degree finished, which is uh, taking more time than moment? I expected. Uh, I'm doing business and insurance in UL and I'm in my final year, but uh, I had three years done in three years and now, now it's taken me a little bit longer to finish the, the fourth year, which is obviously part and parcel of playing rugby and, and being busy and being away. So I suppose getting, getting that done is a, a priority at the moment. And um, I suppose down the line, I, I, I'm interested in food and I'd, I'd love to open a restaurant at some stage, but that's, that's down the line. Well, we'll have to ask you uh, to take part in our cook-off. Uh, Donica did it last time. Who would you yeah. like to take on the kitchen now? We had Fergus McFadden and Ian Madigan this time, so yeah. I'm inviting um, you now. Who do you want to bring into the kitchen for the next line-out? I'd definitely like to uh, take on my housemate, Mike Cherry, who who's plays at Monster and is, is in camp with us at the moment. So he's, uh, we, we take turns every evening cooking dinners for each other. and. If there's ever a sloppy dinner uh, put on the plate, you know, we, we let each other know. So um, we're always claiming we're better than each other, so it'd be nice to finally see who wins. Well, that's a nice link to ask you. What's your favourite pre match meal? Uh, I hate eating before games. Um, I don't know whether it's nerves or whatever, um, and it's just the same food over and over again. It's mashed potato, eggs, chicken, uh, chicken fillets, and, and all that sort of stuff. And you're probably thinking about the game, the last thing you want to do is eat, so um, I've no. No, oh, you get to eat ice cream before, before the game, after, after all the potatoes and eggs are eaten, so that's probably one, so one good thing So what's the favourite post-match win meal? Uh, post-match, um, it's usually just about getting food into you, you know, it's, it's quite hard to eat after a game, especially, you know, you're on such an adrenaline rush, your, your stomach could be at you afterwards or, or whatever, so they just, the S&C fellas or nutritionists kind of just say, eat, eat as much as anything, whatever you want, you know, and there's usually pizza or, or something like that in the dressing room, which, which is nice. And do you think the Heineken Cup has a future? Yeah, I, I, I certainly hope so. You know, I, I grew up with the Heineken Cup in Munster and, and, and going to those special special days in Tolman Park and, and travelling to Cardiff for, for those finals. And, you know, you would 40-odd Munster supporters over there, you know, and I, don't, I think it would be foolish to take it away. You know, it's obviously out of our control, but um, speaking to players, I think there's a, there's a good feeling that it, that it will stay. Maybe it might be reformatted or, or whatever way, but I think the, I think it should stay and, and hopefully it will. The last time we met up um, for Lineup magazine was in Paris. Um, of course, Johnny Sexton went to Paris and at the weekend, Donica Ryan was spotted over in France. Would you be tempted at all to move to France? I don't know. So you'd have to, you, never, uh, you never rule it out. You know, it's always a possibility. Um, you know, obviously I, I love playing with Munster and my ambition is to, to play with Munster, win with Munster and obviously continue playing playing in the Irish in the Irish setup and play as many many games for Ireland as I can, you know. But in saying that, you know, a lot of experienced players that are coming towards the end of their career say that they regret going. You know, they, they would have loved a, a season or two abroad just to experience it more of a life experience and a, and a new kind of rugby experience. So I, I'm, I definitely wouldn't rule it out. Thank you very much for your time today and best of luck with the training at Carton House in the upcoming season.